When my father uh, turned 80, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. About a month later, we found out my mother had metastatic breast cancer. So I guess I have, um, I have some regrets about that. Like I could have done better. She said, I'm ready to die. Don't give me any more treatment. I don't want to see any doctors. I don't want anyone to touch me. But every morning she'd wake up and say, what are you making for breakfast? I'd spend time, you know, looking at him and screaming about how impossible it was. And he had constant diarrhea and caring for him was enormously difficult. And we would move from the toilet to the sitz bath and back to the toilet again. It seemed dozens and dozens of times. It seemed never ending. I was completely exhausted. Each of those times that she had garbled speech and acted goofy, I, I prepared myself. And the next morning she'd wake up and want to know where her coffee was. <laughs> And I remember that I stopped right then, and I just sat down next to the toilet and began to just cry. And it was the most intimate moment of our whole relationship. More profound for me than the moment of his dying. The night before, one of the things that occurred was um, to say where the emotional part of our relationship went. Rick looked up at me in amazement and uh, said we really do love one another, don't we?